Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. This is likely to be the last one of the day. And I think it's quite fitting that we talk about more waste, but on a spectacular scale for a job that doesn't need to be done for people who don't need it, but they're doing it because they need to make more jobs for the boys, and in particularly for non-white boys, I suspect. But we will have a look at it because it does seem to be a terrible kind of one-way street that nobody dare criticise, but I'm going to. But you certainly don't criticise it at Holyrood. Um, that is until Megan Gallagher comes along, because Megan Gallagher is going to criticise it, because she at least has balls, and it's very refreshing to see at least one politician grow a pair. Let's have a look at this. So the SNP government is forking out £4 million of taxpayers' money on diversity officers despite huge public spending cuts. I can save you a lot of money. I can save you £4 million a year. Get rid of diversity officers because you can guarantee that they're all going to be people of colour, number one. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that, but what the point is, there won't be any white ones there, which means the role is itself not diverse but they won't want to be paying white people to police diversity in a country that is 98 percent white because what the white diversity officers may say is that actually the number of people of color in any organization is meeting that which is representative of the nation and they don't want that they don't want representation they want over-representation and they're willing to pay a lot of money to achieve it by giving these people a huge salary. The number of officers being used by the SNP administration has skyrocketed in the past year from 42 to 74 with some being paid almost £118,000 a year. That's more than an SNP, sorry that's more than an MSP, that's more than, a, than, a, than an MP at Parliament. To do what? To tick boxes on colour, sex and um, gender and sexuality and shit like that. Because they have to employ based on various things, they're not allowed to employ on merit. Yes, this guy's got the best qualifications and years of experience. He is undoubtedly the best for the job. This one isn't qualified, has very little experience, but fortunately, he's black. Who's going to get the job? Well, according to anyone sensible who wants to make a money in a company and wants the best for what they can do, the guy over here. But according to the SMP, it will be the one who ticks the box. And this is the problem they have. Everyone is getting a job based not on ability, but based on some preconceived box ticking exercise. And therefore, you end up with the worst people getting the job and the best people leaving. It's no wonder the country is falling apart. You're not allowed to employ the very best of people. You can only avoid, uh, employ those that meet criteria. Isn't it a sad reflection that this kind of racism is allowed to happen? People getting jobs based on the colour of their skin rather than their ability. Scotland's nationalist government is under fire amid reports it is spending more than £4 million a year on equality, diversity and inclusion officers. The spend comes against a backdrop of huge spending cuts with public services set to be badly affected. Yeah, I mean, as you're, as you're, as you're, sit, you're sitting there watching your child die in a hospital, just be thankful that the hospital is staffed with the right number of different types of sexualities. And uh, look, we've got a lesbian, uh, and we've, we've got someone who's diseased, uh, and we've got we've got a black guy. Oh look, there's an Asian woman in the counts. Any chance of getting a doctor? Well, we do have some doctors. They're not the best that we could get, but they are at least the right colour. Children die. Now I'm not saying that the person of colour is not the best doctor. What I'm saying is they're choosing them not based on ability, but purely on the box ticking may well be that the best doctor in the world is a heart surgeon who is of Indian origin, say, for example. It may be that he's a very bad doctor, but he's gay. 
SNP ministers have complained about the lack of funding from Westminster, but the new figures have raised questions on whether Scots are getting the best value for money. No, they're not. The moment you start doing jobs and, and you're looking at box ticking and then you're measuring how many boxes have been ticked and you're measuring how many boxes you need to tick, what's the representation of, you know, this particular race in Scottish society? Oh, it's 1%. And how many have we got in the hospital? 1%. So it is reflective of society, yes. But it still looks white, yes. Can we have a few more? You want me to fire some white people? Yes. OK. And so people are losing their job because they're white. This is happening. This happens. Or at least they're not getting hired because they're white. That definitely happens. Uh, the true numbers of the officials may even be higher, as the figure does not include other public bodies like the Crown Office. Based on maximum salary, spending on the rolls will have doubled from two and a half to 4.3 million in a year. The scale of the spending has been questioned by the Scottish Conservatives. The party's deputy leader, Megan Gallagher, said, while the principle of equality, diversity and inclusion is vital, many people will question the scale. I don't know if it's vital. No, I, don't. I disagree. I don't think equality, diversity, inclusion is vital. I think hiring the best, regardless of the diversity, inclusion, etc., is vital. Don't care. I don't care. When I go to see a doctor, I don't care where that doctor comes from. I don't care if that doctor is gay or straight. I don't care anything about that doctor except one. There's only one metric. Is he any good? The SNP government must ensure they allocate money and civil service resources in line with the most pressing priorities. Yes, health, education, transport. These are problems. Working out that somebody is the right colour, the right sexuality, the right gender. It's bollocks. It's absolute bollocks. Getting the best is all that matters. The cream rises to the top and it doesn't matter what colour or sexuality the cream is. If they're good enough, they're good enough. Uh, but £3,000 for a controversial, uh, it was given to charity Stonewall, uh, which is basically um, a, a, a hate organisation now. Um, it should be banned. It's actually a terrorist organisation, for the want of a better term. The things they do, if you don't put their plaque on the wall and give them £100,000, they tell people you're terrible. Tell them I'm terrible. I don't give a shit. Look at me. I don't have a plaque on the wall. I don't care. Because I do not care about people. I care, are the people any good? That's the only metric. A spokesman for the Scottish Government said the figures referred to include policy work such as addressing health inequalities. What the hell has that got to do with anything? Uh, we are committed to ensuring civil servants receive every opportunity to upskill and attend training courses to better serve the people and interests of Scotland. That isn't addressing the answer. That is a non-answer to a completely different question because they don't want to answer the question why are you wanking away £4 million a year on shit like this? Answer comes there none. Drives you bonkers dealing with these people. Answer me this, people. Put this in put this in the comments if you will. If you rush to hospital and you've got a child, your grandchild, your child, your grandchild, whatever, you hand that child over to a doctor. The moment you hand that child over, you do not care, do you? You do not care who that doctor is. You don't care if he's black or white or Indian or Chinese. You don't care if that doctor is gay or straight or bi or whatever. You don't care if that doctor has views on this or views on that or anything. You don't care if he toes a party line. What you want is to hand that child over that's ill and for that doctor to fix that child, to make that child better. There is no diversity or equality or inclusion. What you want is service by the best you can get and it doesn't matter nobody cares and so to pay money simply to have someone come in because they are the right sex the right color the right gender the right sexuality is all bullshit and bollocks but what they're doing is they're not doing it for equality and do not ever fall into that that trap that this is to do with equality it isn't it's to over-represent certain groups. Because if they were to represent as such the, the, the groups as they were in society, an awful lot of people of colour would have to lose their jobs. 
especially in television. When's the last time you saw an all-white couple? And if you ever look, if you ever look at television adverts now, it's always one black partner, one white partner. It's like saying black people don't like each other. Very, when do you ever see an all-black couple? It's always a black and a white. Or black and white, mixed race lesbians, that's the latest one, isn't it? Let's have a mixed race lesbian to show that we're inclusive. Load of bollocks. Anyway, coming up. So there you go, millions of pounds a year so that boxes can get ticked and that people who aren't necessarily good at the job get the job. Meanwhile, people who are good at the job can't be given the job because they don't tick the box. Get rid of the good ones and put in someone second rate who meets an agenda. Dear heavens above. What's worse, of course, is costing you four million pounds a year for this exercise to go ahead. Can't we just hire the best and be done? Anyway, have a good evening. This should be my last one, so I'll leave on that note. Never mind. Stay well. Speak to you later. Bye.